on the web and in your hands. This is MDI TV. You may have heard that smoking is good for you. Let me repeat that. You may have heard that smoking is good for you. Or to be more specific, that people who smoke might be less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease. The idea was that perhaps nicotine had some beneficial effect on brain function, although clearly smoking causes blood vessel disease and other problems that raise the risk of dementia. Still, researchers wondered why some, but not all, studies suggested smokers don't develop Alzheimer's disease as often as non-smokers. Of course, researchers hadn't randomized people to either smoke or not. They simply observed smokers and non-smokers and tracked rates of Alzheimer's. Or they compared smoking histories of people who have Alzheimer's with those who don't. But this sort of observational study always leaves some questions. Maybe there was something else going on. Something the study authors didn't measure or report on that was the real answer. Janine Cataldo at the University of California, San Francisco and her colleagues decided to take a closer look at previous research. There were these prevailing beliefs um, smoking had a protective factor against Alzheimer's. And they say they hit on something that appeared to make a difference. Whether or not researchers involved in those smoking and Alzheimer's studies had ties to the tobacco industry. Instead of just looking at tobacco industry funding or sponsorship, we broadened the definition and we looked at and defined affiliation as current or past funding, somebody who is employed by the tobacco industry or was a paid consultant, um, someone who co collaborated or shared data, uh, co-authorship on the included study with someone with current funding or previous tobacco industry funding, and our cutoff was for 10 years. The studies with tobacco industry ties pointed to a lower risk of Alzheimer's among smokers. But when these researchers tossed out those results, co-author Stanton Glantz says the remaining studies, the ones without a whiff of tobacco industry connections, well, they produced a very different picture. Smoking uh, uh, increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease by almost uh, a factor of two. So contrary to uh, the widely held view that uh, smoking actually protects people from Alzheimer's, it actually increases the risk of Alzheimer's. The UC San Francisco researchers also found documentation that at least some tobacco industry advisors were suggesting ways to avoid doing studies that might produce unfavorable results. And what we found was that they actually came up with a um, memo that stated they were no longer going to use cohort studies. And it was because one of their paid consultants, P.N. Lee, looked into the situation and found that cohort court studies were more likely to produce um, smoking as a risk factor. An Alzheimer's Association representative says the findings of this reanalysis of the research makes sense. My approach to it all is common sense and I know common sense as the saying goes isn't really common but if we drink to excess it's going to be hard on our body. If we smoke it's going to be hard on our body. Science has proven that. So um, thinking that uh, smoking cigarettes will help our brain function better seems to me that it doesn't fall into the area of common sense no matter what the prevalent attitude is. It appears that exposing and factoring out tobacco industry influence clears the air and shows that when it comes to Alzheimer's, there's no silver lining to the clouds of tobacco smoke.